We're given two polynomials here, two examples, and we're given um, a polynomial function and a polynomial function, and we're also given the fact that each of these two right here are zeros, or they're factors of this polynomial. What they want us to do in these two examples is to factor each of them into their linear factors. So we already know that this is going to be a zero, that this is a factor. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do first the synthetic division. So let me do that really quickly. I've got my 1, I've got my negative 2, I've got my negative 36, and my 72. Now, by the factor theorem, um, we know that uh, this is a factor, therefore the remainder should be 0. That's exactly what the factor theorem tells us. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the synthetic. Bring down the 1, 6 by 1 is 6, negative 2 plus 6 is 4, 6 by 4 is 24, negative 36 plus 24 is negative 12, and 6 by negative 12 is positive 72. With, I'm sorry, negative 72, with a remainder of 0. And that's proven because this was supposed to be a factor. So let's take this, okay, this is x squared plus 4x minus 12. So this is the polynomial that we have left to factor. Well, let's go back over here. k equals 6 was a factor. Where did this come from? Well, this came from the fact that x minus 6 was a factor. And remember, by the zero factor property, you set this equal to 0. What is x equal? Positive 6. So this right here is one of the first factors that we need to know. The next thing we're going to do is factor this guy right here, x squared plus 4x minus 12, into its factors. We want the factors of negative 12 that have a difference of 4. Okay, so uh, this one is fairly straightforward. Factors of negative 12 with a difference of 4. That's 2 and 6 for sure. And it's positive 4, so it should be x plus 6 and x minus 2. Because there we get our negative 12 when multiplying, and when you have 6 minus 2, you get positive 4. So our factors, we're going to combine these and these. Our factor for the polynomial f of x, or our factors, I should say, is x minus 6 times x plus 6 times x minus 2. So if you were to multiply these right here, these three binomials, you'd end up with this right here. All right, and this, of course, was already given in the problem. So this is the answer to this one. And let's take a look at one more example here. All right, we are given that 1 is a factor. Where did this guy come from? Well, this guy came from the fact that we had x minus 1 as a factor. Okay, so we're going to do the synthetic with 1. So synthetic division, we've got 2, we've got negative 3, negative 5, and we've got 6. Bringing the 2 straight down, we get 2. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. 1 and negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. Neg 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. And of course, again, as was stated by the factor theorem, if it's a factor, the remainder has to be 0. Now we've got something a little more challenging in terms of a quadratic 2 factor, but that's okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to factor this. And there's different ways to factor a quadratic trinomial uh, where the coefficient a is bigger than 1, but this is my method of preference. So if you have something else uh, in mind, go ahead. But I multiply, this is the modified ac. So I multiply a by c, and I get negative 12. And I want the factors of negative 12 with a difference of negative 1. So the factors of negative 12, AC, with a difference of negative 1. So I have 1 times 12, I have 2 and 6, and I have 3 and 4. Now, 3 and 4 are the only ones with a difference of 1. And we need a difference of negative 1, so that means this has to be a positive 3 and a negative 4. Okay? So the next thing I do is I say, okay, well, plus 3 and minus 4. And I always divide by ax. So I always, in this case, would divide by 2x. So here's 2x, and here's 2x. Now this always applies when the coefficient, again, is greater than 1. So this is a fraction I can't reduce. So then I say, OK, well, bottoms up. 2x plus 3, there's one of the factors. And then this one right here can be reduced. 
and so I get uh, negative 2 over x and then again bottoms up so there it is so my polynomial function here ends up being f of x equals uh, x minus 1 which was given times 2x plus 3 times x minus 2 so this is another polynomial that was factored and we were given a zero we started off with that we did synthetic division in both of these problems and once we did the division we did some light factoring and we have our completely factored uh, quadratic or well not necessarily quadratic but our completely factored polynomial function